Hello, everyone. Welcome to Club Passim. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. How are y'all doing? <laughs> Everyone experienced the eclipse? Everyone's retinas are safe? Good. Um, but before we get to your music for tonight, I have a couple quick things to go over about the club. I need to point out our fire exits. There's one up on stage just for emergencies. There's a normal exit back out the way you came. Please take this moment to silence your cell phones and turn off your flash. Also try to keep the aisles clear for your servers. Um, server, uh, let's have a hand for Alex taking care of everyone tonight. Please do be good to them. How many of you have never been to Club Passim before? Any first timers? Well, a couple, awesome. Well, thanks for finding us, um, and including um, our artists tonight, also, also new to the club. Um, for those of you who don't know much about us, uh, we here at Passim are a nonprofit organization, and that means that we rely on your support to keep running. Um, so because of your support, we are able to put on music uh, seven nights a week. I had to remember how many days were in the week there. Um, because we do more than seven shows a week, often, so the, the numbers are confusing. Um, but in addition to the club down here, we also run a school of music upstairs. We have several free um, outdoor concert series now that we're heading into the summer. We have festivals throughout the year. Just this weekend, we're going to have our down home up here, Bluegrass and Old Time Festival. Um, and then l on the horizon over Memorial Day weekend, our Campfire Festival. We have uh, multiple grants as part of Passim, and there's, there's a lot of things that we do here, too many for me to go through in a list right now. So if you're interested in other programming that we have and ways that you can get more involved, you can take a look at the calendars on our tables. That'll take you through the next couple months of shows, as well as our live music brunches. And if you go online to Passim.org, you can see everything, even into November, um, we're starting to announce shows. Uh, you can also see uh, membership options there. Um, as part of being a nonprofit, we um, welcome your support through donations and memberships. And if you donate to us every year, you get some great perks back, such as coming to the Discovery Series for free, which you are at right now. Um, so you are enjoying your member perk right now. Um, so uh, in, in a bit, I, I will tell you um, some more about the Discovery Series and what we have coming up next month um, at our intermission. But right now, I would, I would love to welcome um, some new artists to our stage. We're, we're excited to present them, and they are coming in hot just off the road. Um, some of you in the room got to hear a bit of a preview, so I know you're already excited. Please help me welcome Paper Wings. Child who brought you here 
Thank you. so much. Wow, it's so nice to be here. Uh, thanks for having us. Um, this is my friend Emily Mann. <laughs> em drove us here today um, from Vermont where we woke up and I have to say it was a crazy drive. Um, there was a lot of traffic on the road as you might It was guess. the terrible combination of absolutely stopped and then like driving 70 miles an hour and then <laughs> people would be absolutely stopped and then. Yes, but Em got us here safely. Uh, thank you. <laughs> We're hopping right to it. Um, 
Yeah, we're Thanks on. Thanks for your patience also. Yes. Thanks for waiting for us. We're on an album release tour right now, um, coming from Nashville, Tennessee, uh, where we both live. I don't know if you could tell by my cowboy boots, which I <laughs> just got. I'm actually from Oregon, so I feel like a little bit of an imposter in these. But also, if we're being totally honest, I never saw you in those until after we left Nashville. <laughs> so as soon as we get back to Nashville, I'll be back in my, I don't know, what do Oregon people wear? My muck boots. <laughs> Well, this is a song from the new album. Um, it's about being far, far from home.
Well, we're both from rural places um, out on the West Coast. We were just in a rural place on the East Coast. Sometimes it feels kind of like home. There are little differences, plants that you might see. Um, but, yeah, coming back into the city always feels like a little shock to our system, <laughs> our collective system, because really we're like one person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, we are one. We are we are two people. But the other day, we were talking about our summer plans, and Willa was like, "Yeah," and then we'll be out there in California doing that thing. And I was like, "No, I'm gonna be doing that. You're gonna be not there. You're gonna be somewhere <laughs> else doing something else. That's not your plan. It's only mine. Like, come with me if you want, but you gotta make the plan." <laughs> Maybe I will. <laughs> we are we are different people. I promise. Yeah, when you're when you're on the road with. You get somebody. tour brain. Yeah, you get tour brain. Sometimes you feel like you're morphing. Um, but anyway, this song is <laughs> about <laughs> how sometimes uh, we prefer nature to people. <laughs> people are nature too.
Well, we thought um, we needed to have a, an edge as a duo because there's a lot of great duo projects out there. Um, and, you know, we have fiddle, banjo, guitar thing, but what, what no other duo has is two guitars together. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we decided to add a couple of those. I don't know why no one's ever thought of it. It works pretty well, actually. It's kind of great. It's kind of fun. it's my height. <laughs> good there's there's so many things that have to go right for 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 all of this to happen yes it's kind of amazing so many plugs so many buttons Can we have a big knobs. round of applause for abby who's yes. doing sound thank you abby <laughs>
the world can feel like a scary place sometimes for various reasons. Uh, I felt quite scared today when it got dark. <laughs> and I think it's like a, I had like a primal reaction or something. Like, oh my gosh, <laughs> what's gonna happen? Um, but we all have that and that's what makes it okay, I think, is that we can share these feelings and uh, share evenings together like this. both originally met in on the west coast at a fiddle camp has anyone here ever been to fiddle camp yeah I, I feel like th this room would have some people who've been to fiddle camp but I could be wrong I don't know um, yeah that's where we met originally we both played fiddle first and then started learning other things at some point so we're gonna get Willa to play a little fiddle for you
while sitting in the car um, a lot of the day. I need to get some movement, so I hope you don't mind. We're going to do a little upbeat number. <laughs> if you want to. I don't know if that's a lot. <laughs> this is a, a tune I wrote called Shoe Shiner. Um, it's about shining your shoes. songs for you all. Um, like Willa said earlier, we're on a tour right now. We're very nearing the end of our tour. We have one more show tomorrow. We've been out for two and a half weeks, and then we're going to hightail it back to Nashville. Um, but yeah, so we've got our new album, our new record out there, um, and we've got some fun screen printed t-shirts and tote bags that we did ourselves, um, and we've got, uh, what do you call them? Temporary tattoos. Um, of a sweet little flower that a friend of ours drew for us. And I don't know. I don't know what else is out there, but maybe Some who knows? surprises that I might Some have put surprises. For you. Just for you. She does this. <laughs> Actually, that's true. There was a tour where you showed up with like handmade earrings. <laughs> that was a long time ago. That was a long time ago to sell his merch. Which is 
great. I think there was a like a salve too that you made it, or maybe we made it together. I don't know. We've always been creative, but sometimes it was little little strange pairings <laughs> for music. Like come to our show, buy our hand balm. It's, it doesn't work well if you put it on before playing. Also, I, I just little reminder for myself and others. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to play one um, that we like to send out to anyone who's who takes good care of their work boots. grew up going to Fiddle Camp, as Em said, and we had a lot of friends that went to Berkeley or other schools in this area and probably played here a lot. But this is our first time playing in Boston um, ever. I feel like we led sort of... <laughs> <laughs> we never got to come here. <laughs> I've been so now. aware of this like scene, the passing scene. Yeah, y'all are famous like all over. <laughs> and we have lots of friends who used to even work here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I, I play bass with uh, Liv Green and Joby Riccio, and I've got lots of buddies, Nashville so it's buddies. It's so nice to finally. Here uh, we are in the room. See it, <laughs> and yeah, it's great. Um, 
Thanks, Matt, and thanks, Abby, for making it all happen. Um, and thanks to you all for being here. And thanks, yeah. <laughs> we got one more song for you. We're going to sing you kind of a silly song that we wrote one night driving home late from a gig in the Bay Area in California. We were, yeah, we were singing and talking about the fear of accidentally doing our taxes wrong and driving home. It's it's real. Like, even if I know I have the best intentions, I'm almost sure I do something a little bit wrong. Because how could you get it all right? <laughs> um, anyways, thanks for having us. <laughs> and stick around for the second act. Zachary Definitely. Lucky. That's Paper Wings for their past scene debut. As they said, they've got CDs and t-shirts and tote bags and temporary tattoos and surprises out at the merch table. We're gonna take a short, a few minute break. Be back up soon with Zachary Lucky.
Hi, folks. Welcome back. Thanks for staying. Um, before we get to your second act for tonight, I have a couple things, a couple, couple new things to talk about. First, um, as you came in, you may have entered the drawing for a free CD. Well, your free CD for this evening um, is not being given away by Chuck Honnett, which um, returning, returning folks to the Discovery Series may notice a distinct absence of Chuck, who is our sponsor for these evenings. He is um, in Texas to see the eclipse. So I'm filling in. I'm doing the duties of getting to give away free music. So um, for folks that have entered to win a signed copy of Zachary Lucky's latest album, Hannah? Anna, still here? No. Oh my gosh. See, you gotta stay to win all the prizes. <laughs> all right, our runner up. Joe, for you. Please come collect your prize. Here you are. And they'll be performing some songs off that tonight, so you'll get to get a little preview of that. Um, I also want to tell you a bit about the Discovery Series. So this is a, a monthly series we do on the second Monday of every month. Um, and we have been partnering with Chuck Honnett of Nine Athens Music to put it on for the last nine years. Um, this is a, a day of the month that we reserve for new people to our stage or some acts that are bringing new music, trying out something new. So it's really exciting that we have two brand new acts to the club tonight. Um, I want to tell you about our next Discovery Series. It's going to be uh, next month, uh, the second Monday of May, and I don't remember the date, but that's fine. The second Monday of May works. Um, and it is going to be showcasing uh, our grant recipients from uh, 2023 Iguana Music Fund and Gecko Fund. So we're going to have five different acts up here um, playing a few songs and telling about their projects that they received funding for from us and through the community. So it's a really cool way to check out a bunch of new acts on the same night. And it's free to the public with all of the proceeds going back into the Iguana Fund for next year so that we can continue to give out these $40,000 in grants every year to New England-based musicians. It's really cool projects. Check them out. It's everything from um, just recording a new album. Just. There's a lot that goes into that. It's everything from recording a new album to uh, sometimes fixing a tour vehicle or paying for promotion um, so that your music actually gets out to the people. Or one of the performers that we will have next month um, wrote a book on hip hop, which is folk music also. So come on out. You're going to see a lot of cool stuff second Monday of every month if you want to come on out to the Discovery Series. Um, I want to give one more round of applause for Paper Wings, who kicked things off for us tonight. Yeah. And up now, we have, we have some guests also new to Club Passim coming to us from Canada. Please help me welcome Zachary Lucky.
right up on the mountain There I may stand I went up on the mountain There I made my stand A rifle on my shoulder A dagger in my hand Poor boy Been all around this world Put the rope around my neck Hung me up so high Put the rope around my neck Hung me up so high Last words I heard him say It won't be long for he dies Poor boy Been all around this world
This is a Towns Van Zandt song. Thanks, folks. How's everybody doing? Everybody doing all right? Cambridge, Massachusetts. It's very nice to be here. My name is Zachary Lucky. I come from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. A mighty long way from home. Uh, we've been on the road now since the uh, end of January. Been everywhere from, uh, I don't know, Bozeman to Nashville to Seattle to uh, Toledo, Ohio. Zigzag, Oregon. <laughs> Believe Where's not, that, that you is ask? A place. <laughs> that's my favorite place. Of, of the all two, the right? places, that's the of, one. Of all the, yeah, of all the ones. Yeah, it would be zigzag. Although Chattanooga is also a fun-sounding name. Chattanooga is a fun sound name. I like Chattanooga. Anywho, for many reasons, it's very nice to be here in Cambridge. It was nice to get Eclipse. Y'all have a good Eclipse. Uh, I gotta be a hundred. I gotta be a hundred percent honest with y'all. I was a little disappointed. I felt like the Eclipse just phoned it in just a little bit today. You know, if it could have just eclipsed a little bit more, that would have been great. I would have liked that a lot. You know, everybody was hyping it up so much. You know, everybody said, the world's going to end. But we're all still here. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's very nice to be here tonight. Thanks for having us. We're going to sing a brand new song here. We, uh, we just recorded a record back in, in December, and uh, it's going to come out sometime this year. We're not too sure when, but we released this song two months ago, uh, and... Uh, a bit of a t I wrote this about a, a conversation I had in a dark bar room in a small mountain town in, in Alberta, a place called Jasper. That's what this tune's called. One, two, three. <laughs>
sure been a long time since I've been home. I wonder how you're keeping. How are you sleeping alone? And you said you miss me whenever you get stoned. Sure, been a long time. I didn't mean to go. Well, leaving comes easy to someone like me. Well, it's not that I want to, it just comes naturally. Motels on the side of the road This highway sets me free Yes, leaving comes easy It's not what it seems Sometimes I wonder if I can go back home. Would you still be waiting there by the phone? Do you still miss me whenever you get stoned home? Sure. song. How about Paper Wings? That was awesome. Are there any Canadians here? Got one. Got, we got one. Do we have two? We have two. <laughs> Three? No. It's nice to be, uh, it's been fun roaming around the United States. Been down here for uh, yeah, a few months. It's been almost like 10 years since I've been to Cambridge. Maybe we'll take you on a bit of a Canadian uh, journey here for a quick second. I've been fortunate to do this uh, singer, songwriter, traveling troubadour thing for, uh, well, it's either too long or not long enough, I'm not sure, but we're going on like 15 years or so, and uh, which scares the heck out of me because I still feel like I'm 22, um, sleeping in the back of my station wagon, but seen a whole lot of Canada, and it's, you spend a lot of time, if you're a Canadian singer, songwriter, going back and forth. We only have one highway in Canada. Just goes east and west. Just one one highway. Come down here, you got all the highways in the world. Take any highway you want. It's just, it's too much freedom. It's a lot of freedom. <laughs> well, this is a bit of a, a traveling tune. We're going back and forth, back and forth across the country. It's called Everywhere a Man Can Be. Everywhere man can be 
St. John's in Newfoundland, Red Edwards, Copper Sand, and Nova Scotia in the spring. Alberta and Saskatchewan are two of my favorite ones. It's way out there I cut my teeth. All around Ontario, where I learned tall and know. I lived in New Brunswick by the sea. Sing a song about the end of the world here. <clears throat> I was a little bored in the hotel room last night, so I let myself go down the rabbit hole of what the internet thought was going to happen today. A lot of mixed opinions. Not going to lie to you, I felt pretty transformed actually for a couple of Yeah, I know, like all the energy from the sun, it was, it was sucking all my energy and right. you like according, the darkness. To, according to the uh, internet. I grew up going to church. Uh, I don't know if anybody here did. Um, we're still working through that. <laughs> Tell you, like, I wasn't allowed to watch like Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings or, uh, you know, r do any of the fun stuff that kids get to do. But uh, I mean, God bless my mother. But uh, you know, I was allowed to like get anything from the Christian bookstore because it was safe. And I ended up reading these books called Left Behind about the end of the world where people get left behind. <laughs> Which I think is actually just what's happening now. And so far, I like it. Oh, that's what. Okay, right. Yeah. <laughs> so, on that note, to working through your trauma, here's a song about the end of the world. Happiest sounding song I ever heard about the end of the world. Revelation Blues. It's not 
crazy as they tell you living on this earth days are getting darker lord i swear it's getting worse sometimes it's hard to wake up when you know that they're first it's not easy as they tell you living on this earth each day things are changing we're all staring at our phones they say we're getting closer i never fail for long and we're all searching for something but for what i don't know each day things are changing why the hell are we staring at our phones i don't know well the ice caps are melting but the skies are still blue soil in the water i got them revelation blues I ain't no believer, but I can't deny the truth. Oh, the end times are coming, I got those revelation blue. Sure. even call me an optimist the authorities they said don't worry folks we're all just hoping for the best got as much hope as i got money not saying much i guess you might say my outlook is cheery but i probably wouldn't call me an optimist no man well the ice caps are melting but the skies are still blue There's oil in the water i got them revelation blues. i ain't no believer Times are coming, I got them revelation blues. All the end times are coming, I got them revelation blues. Sure do. How about you? Chasing your trail so long Since I was just a kid well, I've been running in circles well, I've been spinning my tires It's always been more of the Rambling kind grass is greener on the other side I've been over that hill and back a couple of times paint me a picture just give me a sign
across that great divide Only looking for one thing Little peace of mind Well, I've been from Tulsa Across that borderline Only looking for one thing Little peace of mind Make him feel welcome. He uh, comes all the way from our Dross in Alberta, up north. We call him Kilometers, but his name is Miles Zerwell, everybody, on that Dobro guitar. Make him feel welcome. It's been a long tour. We've reached that point. Well, we just left winter behind. We're playing up in uh, Saratoga Springs. Still winter up there, pretty much. If it snows tomorrow, don't blame us. It's the eclipse's fault. This is a song about, I wrote about a fellow I met after a show once. I like writing songs about people I meet. And uh, this fellow came up to me after the show right before, uh, it was like my second last show before the pandemic there. And started talking and it came up at some point in the conversation that he was a snowplow driver. There's no snowplow drivers here tonight, are there? No? None? Great. Okay. Good. I always get a little nervous when there are. Yeah. I don't know how many snowplow drivers there are in Boston. But this, this fellow, we'll say his name is John, and uh, he lives in Simcoe County, Ontario, a couple hours north of Toronto, where I live these days. He plows the Highway 22 going across to the Great Lake. I always wanted to play in that Canadian Football League get the heck out of the country and move to the city this is his tune my name it is john i work for the county driving snow plows in the winter time the snow does fly it's early morning snowy afternoons sometimes i drive the snow plow all the night through As soon as we locked eyes, I knew that I'd never leave. We grew up faster than most people do. When I asked her to marry, she said I do. We had us a baby on Christmas Eve. As soon as she gave birth, seen that kind of snow. Guess not. So I guess I'll keep a rolling through the thick of the storm. Keep my blade to the ground, my radio on. Just hoping and praying that I'll see this through. I hope in this road that leads me right back to you. Now I'm doing 
double nickel on Highway 22. Snow's coming down fast. Keep this plow running, I'll keep it pointed straight. If all goes well, I'll be home Christmas Day. If all goes well, I'll be home Christmas Day. Appreciate that. Huge thanks to Abby making it sound wonderful. Alex for keeping us all fed and watered. Well, since it's uh, since it's still winter here in Cambridge, I'm just kidding. Uh, maybe I'll sing another winter song here. You got to get them in while you can, you know, because as soon as, like, you know, April rolls around mid, it is April. <laughs> God sakes. We've been on the road for way too long. You're still stuck I'm in still February. in Toledo, dude. I'm yeah, still in Toledo. Toledo. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. No offense to Toledo, but. No offense, but it really, there's high points and low points when you're on the road across America. <laughs> Don't tell them that. They're really wonderful. Pe they were wonderful people. It has nothing to do with the people or the place, really. Has to do with you, dude. <laughs> Where does it have to do with you, dude? Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. Nama go. I'm gonna Nama go there. I know I don't look that old, but inside I'm like an old man. I'm like 85 inside. Uh, I've got a neighbor who's retired, and a lot older than me. And he says that I'm older than him. So I'm not sure when that happened somewhere along the line yeah. sitting on the couch I, I grew up in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan if you don't know where that is but kind of straight north of uh, North Dakota and Montana up that way and uh, out there you know we get a good honest uh, winter uh, a good minus 45 degrees you know it's about the only time that America and Canada agree on anything is when it's minus 40 we agree that that's cold Minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit is minus 40 degrees Celsius. We just agree that that's just friggin' real cold. I wish we could agree on other units of measurement, but really friggin' cold will work with that. That's a good place to start. Um, you know, growing up with that, I, I really kind of appreciate that kind of a winter day, you know. You go out there and you just can hardly breathe. It, you know, it's, I'm a sucker for pain, I guess. I don't know. Invigorating. <laughs> it is. Even if you're gonna, you know, if you're just on the edge of death, you know, like it's just really... Makes, you, reminder, makes you, know? you feel alive, you know? Yeah. Uh, moving out there to Ontario where I live now, it took me a, a long time to get used to the soggy, wet winters. I'm sure it's similar down here, just real kind of rainy. And, and uh, you know, we get some snow, but then it rains a bunch. And look at me, like old man just talking about weather. It's like... I was sitting on the coach one day, though, and uh, looking out the window and... Uh, pouring rain, it was the middle of December, and I was just hating it, I was just being all grumpy, but, you know, but I thought, well, heck, I'm going to write a song about this, uh, maybe there's a tune on this, I picked up the guitar and didn't come up with much other than, I just had these three chords, came up with a couple words, though, and I, I kind of got, stuck. I can be a lazy songwriter sometimes, and I, I thought, well, heck, that's not going anywhere, so, uh, but, you know, I got this buddy out in Western Canada named Richard Inman, a great Canadian songwriter and friend of mine, and then we send stuff back and forth sometimes. I thought, I'm going to send this over to him, just these chords and these couple words I had. And went back to doing the dishes or whatever the heck it was I was doing, and a couple minutes later, he emails me back, and it's just four lines in the email. And uh, I thought, well, heck, if he can do it, I, I can do it too. And uh, so I sat down and, and wrote a couple more things down there, and... You know, we kind of went back for about half an hour, and, and uh, you know, pretty quickly there had a had a probably the first and the last song I ever co-wrote over email. You know, and 
Because I tell you what, like uh, ever since then, we've been in court with Google because Google says they were in the room and they want 25%. So thank you, Matt. <laughs> Joke's on them, 25% or nothing's nothing. So uh, anyways, it's, it sounds like about the winter, but it's actually not. Uh, it's called Raining in December. Raining in December, you're a long way from home. Not too sure where that is, cause it's been so damn long. Your mind starts to race, all that you could have done. You can't go back now, cause you've been gone so long, a long old time. still worked fine it's so long to the flatlands you once called your home farewell to the foothills where you used to roam cause you won't be back there for a long old time you won't be around for Long old time I've been fortunate that, I mean, normally a lot of the time, for a lot of years there, I was touring alone, just myself, and sleeping in the back of my station wagon, in uh, Flying J parking lots. I've mostly, I've upgraded to Love's parking lots these days. Pretty welcome to Love's. Welcome to Love's. And, uh, but you know, this tour, I'm, I've been fortunate to have my good friend Miles Irwell here playing with me, and Miles Ma put out a great record uh, back in the fall time, and, and I was on the road with a, my buddy Richard, like I was saying, and we were doing a bunch of shows around Canada when that record came out, and and uh, we were listening to that thing every single day, and, and uh, I, I was going to ask Miles to play one of the tunes off that record, if you want to sure do that. Yeah. I would love to hear that. All right. Um, well, if you're not familiar with this instrument here in my hands, it's uh, colloquially known as a dobro. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, the, the thrust of my record was to do uh, 
kind of bluegrass configuration, uh, but non-bluegrass tunes. So here's a, here's a West Virginia fiddle tune. Comes from a fellow named Ernie Carpenter. He wrote it about uh, kind of losing his family property on the Elk River. And uh, they were inundating because uh, they were building a dam there. And uh, so back in the 60s or right around there. And, and he, he swears he was the kind of the last man out of there. Uh, went down to the old house, I think, and got a few timbers or something. And, and then wrote this, uh, this beautiful melody and lament. So here's uh, the Elk River Blues. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Well, we really appreciate y'all having us here, Club Piss Team. It's uh, had a lot of friends come through here and heard about this this stage for a lot of years, and it's uh, really a pleasure to be here sharing our songs with y'all tonight. One more hand for Paper Wings, everybody. That was awesome. Yeah. Leave you with a tune off a record I put out in 2019 called Midwestern, and... Uh, this is kind of a tune about why we do this run around the countryside, sleeping on floors and and uh, you know, loves parking lots in the back of your station wagon, sharing your songs all over the countryside. And, uh, I just want to say thanks to all you folks for coming to listen on a Monday night here with us. You know, uh, 
we have fun doing this no matter what. Uh, we'd probably be picking in a hotel room no matter where we are. But uh, to get to share our songs with you folks, you know, that uh, that means the world to us. So thanks so much for coming out and supporting independent music, Canadian and American. And uh, it's been a pleasure. So th thanks for having us here. We appreciate it. It's called Sometimes I Wonder How I Got This Far. I'm a long way from Houston Long way from home I never thought I'd be the kind To leave you there alone The minutes turned to hours Every time I go and sometimes I wonder why I chose this road I've seen the wide open prairies I heard a black bird's call Felt your heart breaking like an old George Jones song. Each and every sunrise carried back home, and sometimes I wonder why I chose this road. Singing songs in the kitchen It's here in towns on the radio Seeing friends that I never see It's better drinking alone It's the way this guitar rings In this Cambridge bar Sometimes I wonder how I got this far. Sure do. State Highway Can't get home No matter how hard I try Bottles all turn to empty Western sunset turns to night At least I know I'm not the only Song singer who's alone Singing songs in the kitchen We're hearing God on the radio We're seeing friends that we never see It's better than drinking alone Sure is It's the way these guitars ring The internet empty bar Sometimes I wonder how I got this far. Sometimes I wonder how I got this far. Sometimes I 
wonder how I got this far. Thanks, Cambridge. Thanks for having us. That's Miles Zerwell. I'm Zachary Lucky. Paper Wings. Thanks so much.